Hey everyone, it's Patel here from City Soft. I hope you've had a great day and welcome back to the channel. Now today, I'm going to teach you how to correctly install your rotary attachment for the laser box. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get started, we need to get ourselves two tools. We need to get either a hex bit screwdriver or an Allen key and a Phillips head screwdriver. Once you've got those, we're going to locate the two screws at the front of the laser box and using our hex bit screwdriver or the Allen key, we're going to unscrew those two screws. Once we've unscrewed them, we're just going to slide out that tray. Next, we're going to locate the two screws keeping the laser box's bed in place. There's one on each side of the machine. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to unscrew the two screws and slide out the black plates which are keeping that bed in place. Once we've done that, we're going to slide that bed out. The next step is to grab the tray from before and locate the six screws on it. Using the Phillips head screwdriver again, we're going to remove the six screws, dropping that plate out and allowing space for the rotary attachment. We are now going to reinsert the tray into the laser box machine and using the two hex screws that we removed at the beginning, we're going to secure it back in place. Now we're going to install the rotary attachment. The rotary attachment comes with a connector cable which needs to be placed into the top right connection port on the back of the machine. The rotary attachment has three different options based on the diameter of the material you're using. You've got option one, which is between three and 50 mil, option two, which is between 45 and 60 mil, and option three, which is the largest, between 60 and 70 mil. To change between the three different modes, you need to flip over the rotary attachment and unscrew the hex screw on the back side of it. Once you've unscrewed that, you flip it back over, you pop out the leg on the left side of it and push down the right side to roll it into the next slot, secure the left leg back in place, flip it back over and reinstall that screw. Now a big thing to mention as it wasn't in the manual is the placement of the rotary attachment inside the machine. It actually needs to be pushed to the furthest right side of the machine and the cable needs to be secured just above it. Now we head into the laser box software. As you can see there's a design tab and a flat surface mode tab. What we need to do is we need to go to the flat surface mode tab, click the little drop down arrow and select cylindrical engraving mode. This will pick up the rotary attachment in the machine and give you an own pop up window with the settings for it. On the screen here you will see three settings, the gear, the Z offset and the material diameter. The gear corresponds with the gear mode you have selected on the rotary attachment, either 1, 2 or 3, the 3 to 50 mil. 45 to 60 mil and the 60 to 70 mil. Once you've selected that, you've got the Z offset. Now the Z offset is only going to be used if you have a material under 30 mil. If you do have a material under 30 mil, that Z offset is going to be the height of your material that you're going to slide underneath your rotary to make that material come up over 30 mil. 
The last setting is the material diameter and that is just simply the diameter of the material you are looking to engrave. Once you've got that set, click the OK button, import your design and you're good to go. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in our next video which will be testing some materials on the rotary attachment. See you then.